Hi guys, it's Misha, and I'm finally back with my second YouTube video. As you can see from the title, it's my two strand twist out tutorial. So if you like you this look and you'd like to see how to achieve it, just keep watching. I had a lot of fun filming this video. It's my go-to style for when I have my hair out natural, and I think I've got it down pat now. So keep watching if you want to see how I do it. So here's what my hair looks like right when I get out of the shower. I've been natural for about two years, so this is the amount of growth that I have. It's so long actually when it's stretched out, but you know how the shrinkage is. So usually I separate my hair into four sections and I just part with my hands. So I'll start with the center part and I just separate it like so. I don't use a comb because they don't need to be even sections. And I'll do a side part as well. So before I do that, I'll show you what we're going to need. First, I use my Romani leave-in conditioner. Then I'll use my Can 2 Shea Butter leave-in conditioning cream. And then I'll use a gel. This time it's the Eco Styling Gel. And then at the very end, we'll use some extra virgin olive oil. So my hair is now in four sections, separated with bands and clips. I'll show you the back because it's not even. I didn't even look. In the mirror, I just separated it with my fingers, and that's fine, it doesn't matter. So we'll begin just by taking down one section, and we'll separate that section into smaller sections to form our twists, and then we'll detangle each section. If you see me looking to the right, I'm just looking into a mirror because unfortunately I couldn't place my mirror behind the camera, so I have to glance over to the side sometimes. So I think that section was big enough, I decided. I wanted to do kind of um, medium-sized twists. So now I'll take some of the Romani Leave-In Conditioner because it's an instant detangler, and I will add that to my hair. To help me with the detangling process. So just take enough just to be able to work it all the way through with your hands. And I usually just detangle with my fingers at first. Um, it's, it's pretty easy with the detangling um, cream in there. But then I will also use an afro pick to uh, help me. And make sure to start at the bottom and work your way up. So just comb it out like that. Then we'll grab some of the Cantu Shea Butter and we'll add that to the hair. It's a little bit thicker than the Romani and I just like to use both of them. So we'll work that through as well. When you get down to the end, you can add a little bit more. I usually do, just to make sure our ends are really moisturized. And then we'll get some gel. 
Now I usually don't add a lot of gel, just a little bit like on the fingertips, like that much. And I actually use another gel as well. This time I only had Eco Styler, which is pretty popular and it's okay. But I actually prefer to use one called Fantasia IC, I think. Um, I'll put the, the name in the description box in case you're interested. But it's a little bit better. It leaves your hair a little bit shinier and a little bit less dry feeling, I find. But Eco Styler is okay to use um, if you don't have anything else. Just don't add a lot of it. Now I'll get my comb and I will comb through the section to make sure all the product is mixed in and the hair is 100% detangled. And then at this point we'll separate our section into two. Making sure that the sections are even to prevent you from having to borrow hair as you're going down the twist because borrowing hair results in um, frizz when you're opening the twist up later on. So then you just start by putting one piece over the other one, like so, and you just continue that repetitive motion all the way down to the end. I try to make the twist as tight as possible because when you stop twisting then it kind of loosens up and um, the tighter the better so you'll have more definition when you open the twist. When you get down to the end, you might want to add some more gel. I usually do just so that the um, twist kind of like stays closed and uh, is defined when you open it. I don't like when my ends are frizzy. Don't mind my concentration, serious face. Sometimes I forgot that I'm filming myself, so I have to remember to smile. So there we have it, one twist complete. And now I'll show you another one slowly before I speed things up a bit. So same routine. Start with the detangling cream and the shea butter. My hair really wasn't too tangly this time after I washed it. It was pretty good. So I didn't have to work too hard with the tangling. Once again, we're just combing it through. Just trying to get all the hairs, even the baby hairs. And then we'll add some gel before we start the twist. As you can see, I'm just admiring my length quite long, and then it springs right back up. Crazy shrinkage. So now we take the section, we split it in two once again. And then we start twisting. With one piece, bringing one piece over the other.
like so. And we continue all the way down. Tight as possible. Adding some more product if you need to. A little more gel. And there you go, we have two twists done. And now we'll just speed it up and I'll show you the rest of the section quickly. So here we have one section complete. I think there's a total of about eight twists in this section. So I'm just showing you here all of the twists finished. And I'll be right back with the complete head. So here we have it. All of my twists are done. I think there's probably about 25 to 30 twists um, in my head right now and I think they came out pretty well this time they're all kind of medium size and to do the back I don't really use a mirror I kind of just feel with my fingers as I'm like parting I just kind of feel the size of the twist and just do it that way um, sometimes I do kind of pull the twist around to the side so that I can see it with the mirror in front of me but I don't really turn around to try and see the whole back of my head I just kind of feel my way So now we'll use some extra virgin olive oil to seal in all of the moisture. So we just put a little bit of oil on our fingers and then just um, spread it all over the hair. So I just start from the top, I get it on my scalp, get it all throughout the twists and um, it's really good to add a little bit of shine when you open it the next day and um, to seal in the moisture. And there we go. So I'll do a little bit of a spin so you can see the twists as best as possible. Usually I do put a satin bonnet on my hair and I usually sleep with my twists overnight. And this is the next day. 
So I was just getting ready for work. So um, all I had left to do was open my twists. And this is the bonnet that I sleep in. It's just like a basic pink satin bonnet. So I applied some oil to my fingers before I start untwisting to help um, prevent frizz. And then I untwist. Now when you're untwisting, you have to be really careful to um, just separate them slowly and separate them where they naturally want to separate. So basically what I do is I grab the twist and I twist it in the opposite direction. And I just slowly separate the two strands like so. Just where they naturally separate on their own. And I do that for each one. You can see these twists are coming out very defined and shiny and pretty. Just the way I like them to. So I'll show you um, a couple more slowly before I speed it up again. So just twirling it basically between your fingers in the opposite direction and opening it slowly. And there we go. Okay, so here we have the twists all open once. Just kind of playing with them, setting them to look the way I want them to. And I like the way this looks opened once, but I usually always open them, separate them once more. Not all of them, but just some of them. Just to give it a more fuller look. But I'll just show you up close kind of what the hair looks like right now. So they're nice, they're defined. But separating them once more gives more of a bigger, fuller look. So now I just go ahead and start. What I do is I kind of just again feel where they would like to separate naturally because some of them will just kind of separate between your fingers without you having to really like pull them apart like roughly. Because if you pull them apart roughly then you're going to create frizz and it's going to be less defined and it's just a messier look. So it depends on what you're going for. But I usually look feel for the bigger twists and just go up to the top and gently pull it apart a little bit and it should just naturally come. But see this one here, I kind of had to pull a little bit more and then the end ends up being a bit uh, frizzy. So I just go around my whole head doing that. I don't separate every twist, but I just kind of separate the ones that I feel like separating, like I scatter it throughout my head. Okay, so now I've separated the twist twice. Just doing the last couple at the front. And then what I do is I get a um, afro pick and I kind of just gently put the pick underneath the twist at the root and pull up gently to give the appearance of um, more volume. So I usually kind of like put it in the parts, especially the center part 
and um, cause you don't, I don't like to really show parts that much. So I put it in there and slowly and gently pull it up a little bit just from the root to make it look a little bit fuller. So I'll just show you that. It's gently pulling up, like not roughly. And as you can see, it already looks a little bit fuller. So I do that all throughout the head, both sides, middle, and the back. And I usually do a lot of playing with my hands, just kind of going through the hair and separating where I feel like it needs to be separated, and just fiddling around with it until it looks perfect to me. So here's the final look, basically. Now this is what it looks like, obviously after the first um, untwist, the first day. See at the back there, I kind of had to fix it a little bit after it came. Um, I got off the camera because I could see in the mirror in the back that one piece sticking kind of out to the side um, on the right and I separated that again so it was a little bit more even back there but um, yeah that's basically it so after like the second day third day fourth day of this twist out in my opinion it looks a lot better so if you like this style and you'd like to see a video on how I maintain the twist out Definitely let me know in the comment section below and I can film a video like that in the future. So thanks so much for watching guys. I had a lot of fun filming this video. Don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll definitely see you next time in my next YouTube video. Okay? Thanks. Bye.